All right, number one, making sure both notes are ringing out in the chord. That's the goal. So as mentioned yesterday, instead of using the middle finger to mute, if you keep, I mean, you can do that, but again, the issue is if you keep laying it across both the E and the A string, you're never going to hear the A string note. So muting, you can also keep the top part of your index finger up underneath the E string. So, usually stuff like this, I want people to have no distortion, but I also want to make sure all the other strings are muted. So, let's have you practice this with distortion and make sure that you're only hearing the strings you want to hear and you're not getting any string vibrations from other strings not being played because we, we want that stuff to be muted as well uh, so spend like 10 minutes getting this up to where you can up as fast as you can then after 10 minutes get one more good take and then that's the end of this one so here it is at 60 one two three four one two thing so what I did I took the pattern you practiced yesterday which was this amount here and then I took this part shifted it up two frets or one whole step so that's basically it right here that's the pattern and after you play that, you're going to do it again, shift it up an octave, and then you'll play it up an octave higher once more. This part here might be a little strange because the, the tuning of the guitar, going between the G and the B string, the notes are the same as before, like here, just again an octave higher, an octave higher from that. But, uh, so the pattern will look a little different because of the strings tuning. So that might be the only thing that may need a little extra focus. 150 beats per minute is the goal speed. And let's see, let's get a volume check here. Here we go, number two at the 150. Oof. Sorry, I just had the realization. This is not the only spot where it'll be a little bit different. Uh, as soon as we go up to the G string, all that's going to look a bit different. I was just thinking about that as I was playing it and it screwed me up. So I feel that's worth pointing out. Uh, yeah, so you may, you may want to spend at least a little extra time on all of that highlighted part just to get used to that fingering there. All right, let's try this again.
do it one more time. Come up, let me know. I'll see you again next week.